um, some pretty grim job numbers uh, back yeah. at home. 9.5% unemployment in June, the worst numbers uh, in 26 years. Uh, how, how do you explain that? Because when, when the President and you all were selling the stimulus package, you predicted at the beginning that if you get this package in place, unemployment will peak at about 8%. So either you misread the economy or the stimulus package is too slow and the truth too small. is we and everyone else misread the economy the figures we worked off of in january were the consensus figures of most of the uh, most of the blue chip indexes out there everyone thought at that stage everyone the bulk of cbo was a little bit higher I thought it would be a little, a little bit, bit higher. but but they're all in the same range no one was talking about that we we would be moving toward what we're worried about ten and a half percent or be nine and a half percent at this point. But we're looking at ten now. No, aren't we? well, well, look, we're we're much too high. We're at nine, what nine point five right now, and so the truth is there was a misreading of just how bad an economy we inherited. Now that does I'm not laying the same. We it's now our responsibility. So the second question becomes. Did the economic package we put in place, including the Recovery Act, is it the right package given the circumstances we're in? And we believe it is the right package given the circumstances we're in. We misread how bad the economy was, but we are now only about 120 days into the recovery package. The truth of the matter was no one anticipated, no one expected that that recovery package would in fact be in a position at this point of having distributed No, the but a lot of, of people were saying that you needed to do something bigger and bolder then, including the economist Paul Krugman. He's saying right now, he's saying the same thing again. Don't wait. You need a second stimulus. You need it now. Look, what we have to do now is we have to properly, adequately, transparently, and effectively spend out the 780 That's your job. Billion. You're in charge that of it. That is now. my job. And I think we're doing it well. If you notice, George, I mean, uh, all, there are there other predictions. This was going to be wasteful and all these terrible projects were going to be out there and we we're going to we waste the money. Well, that dog hasn't barked well, yet. Well, Senator Coburn's identified some. Yeah, no, he hasn't. But he did. He identified 148 of which we had already killed. Um, and so, and, and the rest I, I dispute. So the bottom line, though, is I think anybody would say this has been pretty well managed so far. The question is, how do you now, do we, what we have to do, George, is we have to, as this rolls out, put more pace on the ball. The second hundred days, you're going to see a lot more jobs created, and the reason you are is now all these contracts for the over several thousand highway projects that have been approved. But you're also seeing states across the country cutting back on their programs. Many of the people on sure. unemployment today are going to run out of unemployment in September. That means for a lot of those people, if there's not a second stimulus, they're going to be out in the cold. Well, look, um, we have uh, increased the amount of money unemployed. Th 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 those in the employment role have gotten 12 million people are getting more money because of the stimulus package. We've increased the number of people eligible by 2 million people. Uh, we've given a tax cut to 95% of the people who get a pay stub. Um, they have somewhere between 60 80 bucks a month out there. That's going into the economy. There, there's a lot going on, George, and I think it's premature to make the judgment. So no second George. stimulus? No, I didn't say that. I think it's premature to make that judgment. This was, this was set up to spend out over 18 months. There are going to be major programs. They're going to take effect in September. $7.5 billion for broadband, new money for high-speed rail, the implementation of the, of, of the, of the uh, grid, uh, the new electric grid. Um, and so this has just started. The pace in the ball is now going to increase. So you're in charge.